For this interview, I'm here with Kevin Flynn, who is a former member of Provincial Parliament and Minister of Labour. So, Kevin, tell me a bit about your relationship with John and how you knew him. Well, John, John walked into my office with a group of people one day, and I couldn't give you the exact date, but it was very early in, uh, in my tenure as minister. So I would have guessed it would have been around 2014, 2015. And there was, I would think there was about five or 10 people in the, you know, probably more than five, but around 10 people in the group that came to visit me. John was one of them. And um, it seemed like they were, they looked like they'd been beaten down so many times that they expected me to almost kick them out of the office. Like there was almost that expectation that this wasn't going to go anywhere. And they talked to so many other people, it seemed, and no one would pay attention to them. Their own union, they felt, had abandoned them. GE wanted nothing to do with them. WSIB was being very uh, sticking to the letter of the law. So often when you see a group of people like that, there's a lot of motion involved. There's a lot of emotion involved. And uh, would, John was the facts guy, though. John was the guy that had the evidence. John seemed to be the guy that had done the legwork. So while everybody was mad and angry and frustrated and couldn't believe it was happening, John was a bit of a calm um, in that storm where he had the facts. He knew, he knew what some of the chemicals could do. Um, fortunately, I have a chemical background as well. So when they started talking in terms of, you know, things like trichloroethylene, methyl ethyl ketone, um, those types of things, I was very familiar with those products and understood what the, uh, you know, what the safety, what the health and safety implications of their misuse was. So John, John was a resource that I just thought he bought. It's tough to do when you're angry. It's tough to do when you think when there's an overriding sense of injustice that the system isn't treating me right, the system's out to get me, everybody just wishes we'd go away. And uh, it's tough to be that calm guy that's just got the facts, you know, just who just comes in with the, well, this is what was used, this is when it was used, this is where it was used, this is how it was used. And you really need somebody like that because if you're gonna change people's minds, you've gotta have some evidence. You can't just go in with a sob story you just can't go in with a, you know, angry, we're going to change this. You really need to go in with uh, some facts and some figures and some evidence behind you. And that's what John was. And so through your experiences with John, I, I mean, you've mentioned a lot of qualities in John that are pretty mm -hmm. admirable, but um, what was the one that impressed you the most maybe? I, I, I think it, it was his calm, calculating nature. Just the, the approach he bought to things um, was different, almost scientific. And I don't mean that in a bad way at all. You know, I mean that in a very good way. It very, uh, he, he was very measured, very calm, very, you know, and I think he thought the evidence should be enough that all the screaming and the yelling and, you know, the gnashing of teeth, I think he understood that's not what was going to change this. What was going to change this was to have experts in the field of health agree with him to say, you know what, that health study that was done, maybe that was flawed. Maybe there's things wrong with that. Here's some evidence that would make us think that. And, you know, company records may not show it or they may not be available, but here's somebody that understands what was used in the plant and what guys were washing their hands with and what products were being used on the line by, you know, by men and women without the safety precautions we'd have for the day. So it, it really was that, uh, I don't want to call it cold calculating because it wasn't cold. It was definitely calculated, a very science, but I think the calm would be a word I'd, I'd use to describe uh, John's approach to things, calm mm -hmm. and measured. Yeah, I imagine it would have been very hard 
to for anyone to be in that position and stay so calm while fighting. Well, yeah, I mean, like it you're mad. It made me mad. It should make you mad. And uh, you've got to, at times like that, you've got to resist getting mad. And John was able to do that, I think. And so with all of this evidence that John had, uh, what impact do you believe his work had on achieving justice for workers that had been injured by exposures at the GE plant? Well, you know what? I, I think it gave them, uh, it put them on equal footing. There was a study that existed that nobody thought was a credible study. May have been, may have been done using the available science at the time. Perhaps you could excuse it that way. But in many ways was, you know, proven to be uh, deficient. And I think that there was a lot of John's work that, that assisted in that, that proved that uh, the health study wasn't as robust as it should have been. But yeah, I mean, he, he, he had the counter evidence. He provided the evidence to the people that went out and prepared the other report, you know, the other report that was done by the uh, DiMatteo folks, I think. Uh, I, I think a lot of the a lot of the groundwork for that was laid by John. Mm -hmm. Well, Kevin, thank you very much for your responses. Um, with that, I will let you go. Uh, it was a pleasure okay. getting to hear from you. Okay, nice to talk to you, Sebastian. You take yeah. care. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye bye.